a research project aiming to develop a next-generation four-dimensional model to enhance weather forecasting for, for, for phenomena such as thunderstorms and heat waves. Stronger prediction capabilities could help mitigate risks to urban safety and the resilience of infrastructure. It's among 10 funded under previously announced $25 million weather science program. Eugene Chow tells us more. Around this time last year, Singapore was struck by a Sumatra squall, characterized by heavy thunderstorms and powerful wind gusts. Over 300 trees were affected. Wind speeds of above 80 kilometers per hour were registered. It's storms like this that Singapore is paying closer attention to. One NTU project aims to predict tropical weather better, pinpointing down to specific locations. It involves using a specialized machine to measure conditions like wind speed and air pressure. Supercomputers use the data to narrow down forecasts to areas such as the different terminals in an airport. Well, we know over Changi Airport, the wind conditions are extremely difficult to predict because of the monsoon regulation and the land sea contrast. So as a result, uh, with a better uh, prediction of the wind patterns, we aim to improve the efficiency and the safety of the flights. Funding aside, the 10 projects can also tap an extensive pool of data and tools. ASTAR is also developing this test bed, which will house all the observational data, all the model codes in one place. Uh, so this will be quite unique and can be accessed by all the um, research uh, collaborators. A new national platform will set these projects in motion. It's called the Climate and Weather Research Alliance Singapore, or CHORUS. The Research Alliance will bring together and harmonize the unique capabilities across our institutes, driving the collective performance to new heights. This collaborative research model will also allow us to nurture a robust local talent pipeline. So we need to have that capability and that expertise so that we position Singapore at the forefront of tropical urban weather and climate science. There are also plans to deepen collaboration with partners such as the Momentum Partnership, a multilateral consortium of leading international weather and climate centres. And here to share more about CHORUS is Professor Dale Barker. He's Director of the Centre for Climate Research Singapore. Thank you for coming in, Professor Good Barker. Good evening. Thank you. Now, CHORUS, uh, and it's worth spelling out, Climate and Weather Research Alliance Singapore. And correct. the principal word there, or the operative word, is alliance. Alliance, correct. Because in this study of weather and therefore predicting weather, you need to bring together everything we have in terms of data as well as technology. Absolutely correct. Um, the climate is a complex beast and it requires many different skills. Uh, people with skills in AI, for example, or who understand how the weather works, who make observations, the technologists, and the forecasters, of course, who, that Sumatra squall is, you saw there, there's very complex processes going on. So we need to bring a whole series of experts together in an alliance to try and solve this problem together. That would have seemed an obvious solution in the past. Mm -hmm. Why has it not happened, the sharing of knowledge and the sharing of tools? It has, um, but it's been growing um, and, and accelerating because of the Im increasing impacts of climate change. We see a need to put more effort into that. So traditionally, uh, weather prediction is done over global scales. Um, the whole globe, we've been doing that for 60, 70 years. But getting down to the types of weather that you saw there, the Sumatra squall, it's very tricky, very localized. It comes and goes very quickly. So that's the state of the art. And of course, in Singapore, we're in the tropics, we have a very urban environment. So that's a very specialized type of weather, in a sense. So this is, a, this is our niche. This is the weather research is at for us in, in CCRS and in Singapore generally. If you give a concrete example of how this alliance might bring together the newest in ideas and what we have in terms of analyzing, parsing data sets and coming up with consequent predictions. Mm. Sure. 
So, so weather prediction, climate science is big data science. We have millions of observations. We have lots of data to predict the weather. And so it's a classic example where AI uh, can be used, artificial intelligence can be used to learn patterns in the weather uh, from all of that data and to use that to predict today's weather for tomorrow, for the next 30 minutes or the next day or even the next week. An example of that? So an example of that will be, so for example, the Sumatra squall there, for example, you see Sumatra squalls coming in in the radar. We can see the rate if you look on your app. You can sometimes see the radar. Now, okay, that's what's happening now. But how do we turn that into what's happening in the next 30 minutes, even in the next 60 minutes? So the way we do that is to take that data, to take past data over past many, many years to understand how that data and maybe surface wind observations might combine. And, and we could learn how that kind of winds and rainfall has predicted the weather in the past. And we can train AI to understand how and try and predict how it's going to do it tomorrow. Singapore small, in a way, I can't see how you would isolate data just pertinent to this country and Correct. this region beyond, okay, larger region and come to that international changes, certainly, for example, yeah. uh, due to human-induced climate change. Yes. Uh, this kind of sharing, where are we on that? with larger partners outside of this mm, region. Mm. So we heard about a Sumatra school. A Sumatra is not in, it is in a different country. So, you know, we need to share data internationally. Today's weather was in another country yesterday. And if we look at the climate system over decades or so, the weather is mixing continuously. And it's not just the air, it's, the, it's not the atmosphere, it's the oceans, of course, as well, and the land and the surface. So we need to collaborate globally to share observations because we all depend on each other's weather. The CO2, this carbon dioxide that's released, is mixed in the atmosphere. Uh, but the local impacts will be different. And that's why we can't assume what happens in, the, in, the, in Europe or the US or the Antarctic is the same that's going to happen here. So we take our unique environment and, and that, that global science and tune it so we can make the best use and the best forecasts and the best climate projections for our part of the world. Okay, final question here. And this brings us back to the nuts and bolts of, of, of chorus. So the four nodes, mm -hmm. and I quote you here, mm -hmm. supporting chorus, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the NEA, the National Environment Agency, uh, ASTAR, uh, I think that was the gentleman you mentioned, uh, the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, NTU and NUS. Mm -hmm. uh, that's four different organizations and CHORUS presumably is a separate one as well. How are you finding the people? So the, it's things? an alliance. Initially, it may expand in future, but currently Chorus is an alliance between those four, what we call nodes, the four institutes. Okay, so it's not separate, in fact. Uh, no, it, it, it is the, uh, the alliance between okay, those, oh, those four, four institutes. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's going to develop. Um, they bring their unique skills in AI, in understanding observations, in, in hardware. They, we need supercomputers for this. So the National Supercomputing Centre in Singapore is crucial. We can't do any of this without supercomputers. So it's an alliance between all the experts and the hardware, the software, and, and, and the people to bring this together into a, a nas building what we call national capability. And this is not something that one institute or one PI or even one country can do by themselves. We have to coordinate this nationally and also internationally. Uh, to, to, to solve this problem for the, for the benefit of Singapore now and in the future. Oh, thank you for coming in to clarify uh, <laughs> even a very basic thing like uh, okay. what an alliance is and uh, I'm mixing up those acronyms and for the larger picture as well. Thanks so much for coming. Professor Thanks David Barker, Director of the Centre for Climate Research Singapore. Thank you.